Recent years have seen an acceleration in Ankara's efforts to develop and produce modern and advanced military warships with local capabilities that would change the balance of military power in the region. Turkey in the coming period In this video, we will show you the Turkish naval defense industries. First, don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel. During the past two decades, in conjunction with the successes achieved by the Turkish defense industry companies, design, development and production of ground and air products, the Turkish Navy had a good share of these products. In addition, interest has increased significantly. Turkey has made significant achievements in the development of its old naval ships. In parallel, she began production and development programs for attack ships, craft carriers, submarines and unmanned attack boats. In addition to developing effective weapons and missiles to supply naval ships, we will explain the most prominent productions of naval defense industries companies. In addition to the promising projects that are currently being worked on, which are expected to enter service within the Turkish Navy fleet soon. Turkey recently unveiled a new project, interested in developing a squadron system of marine vehicles with pure domestic capabilities. The vehicles that will be tested at sea are scheduled to be launched soon. It will be ready for use by the end of the year. This main marine vehicle organization will be able to reach a speed of more than 74 km per hour. It will also have the ability to operate for it will also have the ability to operate for approximately 4 days without the need for refueling. It will be able to perform many tasks and provide navigational opportunities even in the most difficult marine conditions. It will be able to perform many tasks and provide navigational opportunities even in the most difficult marine conditions. In addition to the ability to maneuver at high speed, Turkey managed to manufacture a prototype of an armed unmanned boat called Sida at the end of last year. The boat is made of innovative materials and an advanced vehicle with superior capabilities for guarding and controlling the water through its advanced devices and systems. In addition, it possesses homemade encrypted communication systems, the ability to monitor day and night. Turkey is taking resolute steps towards producing a small submarine with domestic and national resources for the first time. Experts expect that it will have an important and multiplier effect in the waters of shallow seas, such as the Aegean and the Mediterranean, which will upset the balance of naval military power in the waters of the Aegean and the Mediterranean, significantly in favor of Ankara when it soon entered service. In addition to its crew of 18 people, the submarine can operate for 30 days with an additional team of six other special forces. The mini submarine can operate for 30 days with an additional team of six other special forces. It's 42 meters long and 8.5 meters high. Contains four torpedo tubes ready to be fired. Contains four torpedo tubes ready to be fired. A total of eight heavy torpedoes and guided missile launch systems. The depth of submarine is more than 250 meters. It can perform submarine warfare, special operations, intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance and mine warfare. In addition to shallow water operations and operation against unmanned military systems, such as submarine and drones. The Meldan project aims to develop multi-purpose corvettes and frigates with local and national capabilities. It can be used in a range of tasks, including reconnaissance, surveillance, early warning, anti-submarine warfare, naval, land and air battles, and amphibious operations. As of 2018, the Meldan project included the production of 16 warships for the Turkish Navy. They are distributed as follows. Four anti-submarine warfare cruises. It has been delivered to the Turkish Navy. Four multi-purpose frigates. Seven anti-aircraft destroyers and the Turkish aircraft carrier. TCG Anadolu, which is expected to be delivered soon. 
in addition to four cruises of the Pakistani Navy. By the end of this year, the Turkish Navy is preparing to receive the first homemade aircraft carrier called TCG Anadolu. It will be 232 meters long, 32 meters wide, weight about 27,000 tons, and 58 meters high. It has 11 decks of different sizes and will be able to carry 30 aircraft between helicopters, fighters, and drones. It includes six airstrips and a runway, as well as land military transport vehicles. The project to produce military submarines for the Turkish Navy entered into force in mid-2011. The project includes the production of submarines of the class U-214 with an air-independent propulsion system, which will enable submarines to stay in the depth of the water for more than 21 days. The project is one of the largest ever jointly built submarine projects. Total value is about $2.7 billion. The local contribution will be made by the Turkish Naval Forces Command to about 80% during production of the six submarines that will be called Class 1 submarines. All of them will enter the Turkish Navy's inventory by 2027. After landing the first submarines called Piri Rice in the waters of the end of 2019, Turkey has announced that from 2022, a new submarine will enter service every year within the Turkish Navy's fleet. The Turkish submarine Peri Rice is a copy of the German submarine U-214. It's one of the six submarines that were contracted with Germany to be designed and manufactured in Turkey. Its length is 68.35 meters. Its outer diameter is 6.3 meters. It weighs 1,850 tons and it has a capacity of 40 people. In your opinion, can Turkey be one of the 10 most powerful countries in the world in this field? Here we come to the end of the video. Don't forget to share the video and subscribe to the channel.